Hello, I am Rain Dancer AU. I stream Dirt Rally 2.0 on Twitch, and I am the founder of the Barrel Rollers, arguably the most extensive and active community of Dirt Rally 2.0 streamers and players on Twitch. At the time of this recording, I have over 1100 hours in Dirt Rally 2. The majority of that was streamed from this lovely next level racing sim rig and using this Fnatic Club Sport wheel, pedals, shifter and handbrake setup. Fnatic Club Sport pedals have a very unique feature in that they have vibration motors on the throttle and the brake pedals that provide force feedback. Uh, for me it is a really great feature that unfortunately is not very well supported in many games and simulators. There are some simulators such as iRacing, Race Room Racing Experience, Project Cars 2 and by extension Automobilist 2. Uh, they support this feature very well. Dirt Rally 2 also provides support for this feature, uh, but you would be forgiven for not even noticing that uh, it works in the game. Um, and I think the reason for that is only the brake pedal has vibrations. The force is somewhat mild and it only ever kicks in when the wheels lock up under quite heavy braking. Uh, it'll also kick in when you pull the handbrake up, but one of the things is when you're pulling on the handbrake, your foot might not be on the brake pedal at that time, so you might not ever feel it if you're using the handbrake in Dirt Rally 2. So if that is the case for you and you've never felt the vibration motors on your Fnatic uh, brake pedals, a great way to test if it's working for you is to go into free room like I just did there select the car I'm going to just select a group a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 6 simply because it's a sequential gearbox for demonstration purposes it will be easier for me to manage so we'll just wait until this loads up we'll go straight into free room so what I recommend here is just to accelerate, get up to third or fourth gear, coast a little bit, depress your foot on the brake just a little bit, and then pull the handbrake up. So my foot's just on the brake a little bit. And by pulling the handbrake up like that, I can feel That the, the vibration motor does work. So you can see how I'm only putting a little bit of brake input um, into the brake pedal and that's just so that the brake pedal is resting up against my foot to strengthen the feeling of the vibration motor. We're just trying to make sure that, that this vibration motor is working for you. Okay. After you've done your preliminary test just to, to see if your vibration motors are working, the next step would be to head over into the text file that we need to edit. So we need to locate the text file that we need to edit. So to do that, open up your file explorer. From file explorer, head over to documents. Now in documents, there you might need to sort your documents by uh, type so you see all the folders in one place or maybe via alphabetical order uh, but what you need to find is a folder called my games now in my games you should see another folder called dirt rally 2.0 in that folder there is another folder called hardware settings and finally we find the file called hardware underscore settings underscore config 
The first thing before making any sort of edits would be to right click on the file, make a copy, click on copy, right click again on some white space and then click paste and then you've got a copy of your hardware settings file and this just means that if anything goes wrong you can just uh, delete this hardware underscore settings underscore config file you could just rename the copy back to hardware underscore settings underscore config and everything will be back to how it was before you edited the file now i actually have a a file of my own backed up here uh, I've used a different method, we won't worry about that, but I'm just going to clean that up, delete the copy. So to edit, we right click on the hardware underscore settings underscore config file. And I'm going to recommend you choose open with and notepad. Now, of course, if you're a programmer type and you've got an advanced text editor, by all means. Uh, now. Here is the file as displayed by Notepad. Now this is an XML file. And XML files are arranged such that uh, relevant data is what they call encapsulated um, with tags such as this one that we're looking for here where it starts with motion platform in angle brackets and ends with forward slash motion platform again in angle brackets in between these two tags again we're looking through the tags and there should be something that says fanatic enabled first of all let's make sure it's set to true next entry should be possibly will vibration scale and then you'll find the part that we're looking for which is pedal vibration scale I've already edited mine I've got mine set to 1.5 now I believe that's the maximum I'll cover off why that's the maximum why I believe that's the maximum um, after we finish this part but uh, if you have not edited this before I believe it will be set to 1.0 now try setting this to 1.5 so you highlight where it says 1.0 replace it with 5 1.5 you only need to, to highlight the 0 and replace it with 5 then you click on file and save I'm not going to do this because my uh, settings are already set properly but you click on file and save and then you click on file and exit I'll close that window down and that should give you the upgraded vibration strength you could then go back into dirt rally 2 um, and do your test again I would advise in fact to close out of dirt rally 2 completely edit this file and then load up dirt rally 2 again I'm not sure if this is uh, if Dirt Rally 2 is dynamically reading this um, every time uh, it's saved or if it loads at once when you load up Dirt Rally 2 for the first time. It might be it might be loading it up every stage, but um, I think you only need to set this once. So uh, why even bother to risk it? Now, really quickly. I'd like to show why I believe the uppermost limit of the setting in the file for pedal vibration is 1.5. So in Dirt Rally 2, if we head over to Options and Extras and have a look at Input, I'll need to I need my steering wheel on for this part. There it is. If we have a look at vibration and feedback. The feedback, force feedback and vibration settings can go up to 
150. So I believe that in that file, a setting of 100 is equal to 1.0. And so therefore the maximum setting is 1.5. I have noticed a increase in the strength of the pedal, increasing it from 1.0 to 1.5. I have attempted to increase it beyond 1.5, but to my foot, which is a very unscientific method of, of measuring how, uh, how strong the vibration is, but um, against my foot, I haven't felt a difference going beyond 1.5. I can certainly feel a difference between 1 and 1.5. Going below 1 to say 0.5, I felt that difference as well. But going beyond 1.5, I have felt no difference whatsoever. You're welcome to try. And if you get different results to me, please uh, leave a comment um, on what value you set yours to and uh, how much of a difference you felt. So that should be all you need to do to get the increased pedal vibration in Dirt Rally 2 for Fanatic Club Sport pedals. Uh, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any struggles with these instructions or anything else related to Dirt Rally 2, please feel free to drop a comment uh, in this video Otherwise, hit me up on Discord or on my Twitch streams. I'll leave links in the description for both um, as other ways to get in touch with me. If this video has helped you out at all today, please help my channel grow. Click that like button. Hit subscribe if you'd like more simulator related videos. I'll be working on getting new instructional videos out on a weekly basis. So until then, Thank you very much for watching.